Hey, this is Jared Chamberlain with the Chamberlain Group, a local real estate team here in Calgary. Thank you so much for checking out our video blog. Today we're going to be talking about the real estate market that's happening right now in our city. It is June 2017, so let's dive in. So it is June 2017. It is our summer months coming up right away here. And I want to talk about the real estate market, what is happening, what to expect, all right? So we're going to dive in and look at apartment style, attached properties, and detached properties, and what is happening for each of those segments of the market. Uh, before we get in, I'm going to talk about absorption rate in here as well. So I just want to remind you that anything between two and a half and four months worth of inventory is considered a balanced market. Anything above four months is a seller or buyer's market, sorry. And anything under two and a half is a seller's market. So let's jump into here. Apartment style condos, we have about 284 that are selling per month right now over the last 90 days averaged out. We have 1,788 active properties currently for sale. And so that means our absorption rate is sitting at about 6.3. So we're in a fairly strong buyer's market for that segment of Calgary. The median sale price has actually dropped about $10,000, 280,000 down to 270,000 which is about a 3.6% drop uh, year over year. So this market is a little bit flooded with inventory, not nearly as many buyers that are buying in this market as other places, okay? The interesting fact about this too is about 51%, so 915 or 16 of those active listings are actually just in city center. So that is the inner city core. Uh, if you look at the zone maps of the MLS, it kind of shows you where that is, but it's called city center, and that's just the inner city, where 47% roughly of all of Calgary uh, condos are in that core. So there's a little bit, there's more inventory down there than what is uh, generally in the whole city and broken out in actual inventory, okay? Now let's jump into attached properties. Attached properties, we've had about 429 that are selling per month, averaged out over the last three months. We have about 1,459 that are currently for sale, which gives us a 3.4 month absorption rate. So attached properties can include uh, everything from uh, infills to townhouses, that kind of thing. And so the average price that as like apartments have also dropped. They went from 356 down to 344 medium price. So that gives us about a negative 3.4% year over year. Let's jump into our third category, detached properties. This is a little bit different than the other two. So the detached properties, uh, we have about 1,222 that are, 1,229, sorry, that are selling per month, again, averaged out over the last three months. We have about 2,956 that are actively for sale right now. So that's giving us a 2.4 month absorption rate. The crazy part about this market is it actually has gone up. So the median price was from 489 up to 510. So we're actually up 4.3%, which is kind of crazy. And if you ended up looking at uh, the market broken out into different segments, the zero to 550,000 is actually at two months of inventory, which is really low. And so if you're looking at selling in this market, there's a lot of buyers that are buying. You still have to have a strong strategy to make these buyers fall in love with your property, but there's definitely buyers out there. And if you're a buyer looking to buy in this inventory, <clears throat> uh, this inventory in this market, it's definitely, you wanna get your pre-approval. It's definitely a hard market to get into uh, because there are a lot more buyers looking right now. So it's not like every other market. So if you were in a condo and you're trying to buy a house, it's a little bit tough right now because it could take a long time to sell your condo but you could be missing opportunities when you buy your house. So it's just strategizing with your agent. So the det detached market is very different. So some of the positives, like I just said, we are seeing some multiple offers in some of the detached markets. So some of the negatives is the condo apartment market is actually a lot slower, especially when you get inner city. We have seen the inventory climb with supply not uh, keeping, or supply go growing where the demand is not keeping up. And so we just gotta make sure we have uh, a good, good strategy when it comes to selling. And ultimately, unfortunately, it does come down to price when we're here. 
So I hope you have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching our video blog. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at info at tcgroup.ca and under the YouTube video here, you can actually see all of our details. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook. would love to hear from you, your feedback, your comments. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. We'll see you later. Thank you.